Hello, I'm the Living Cat. And I'm I Like Trains Kid. And welcome back to episode 3 of Who Dweebs Play Minecraft. In this episode, we're going to finish off our workshop and get a real, a real station that we set up in the last episode, or half episode, whatever it was, into... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what I was thinking is, like, we could sort of have the trains come in here, and then, you know, um, this eventually could sort of be a distribution center where we distribute to different areas of the, of the factory, but for oh. now it could just input items or whatever. Right, um, okay. So then we want the item rail be, like, right next to it. Yeah. And then That's have the... Like player rails like here yeah all right got more rails i do not <laughs> oh i got more rails never mind oh <laughs> i think we might need to make some more soon i mean we've got plenty of still at home yeah We would we'll need the routing thing switch <laughs> and a witch. <laughs> How close do you want the item rail? Uh, Say about here. here. Yeah, I mean it doesn't really just not right next to it, of course, but you know, yeah. a little bit of distance. So that's. Right there. Yeah. So then we want a Y there. And then have it come like this. Yeah. And we can put that there. For when it loops back around. Basically. I'm out. Well, we have the basic idea down. Yeah. I guess, you know, next time we head back, we'll just grab some more. But, yeah, I mean, this is basically what I was thinking. And then... For you know the person or player unload is basically pretty similar to you know the station at home, but here basically all we're gonna want is um, item unloaders and then item loaders basically above and below it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure unloaders are under it and then loaders are above the carts. What well, about the so, advanced ones? Yeah. They can be on the side. You know, however we want that, basically. So, let's have... I'm just gonna put... Walking track there. You know, and then we'll have room for up to... However many we want. And then, of course, set up a... Uh, refueling rewatering station. Yes, of course. Um, maybe have it... Stop twice. Once to unload, once to load. There's an idea. Yeah. No, it, if there's nothing to load, it will always be on, and it'll just send it on its way. Yeah. Question is how many I, how many chest mine carts per train? Because you can have multiple. Yeah, see that's why I put it up here. So they can train. I'd say well, like, there's enough for. How much do we need though? I'd, I'd say a good round number is about three per train. 
three three cars per locomotive. Sure. I'm trying to think, because I know that there's um. What's it called? Oh, what's it called? Cargo cards. I don't know how those work though. Yeah, I was, cause I know we have a few of them. I was like, maybe they could hold more. But yeah, I was gonna say, I was thinking anywhere from three to five, you know. And they're they're crafted the same way as a chest mine cart, the cargo carts. Who knows? Um, yeah. Maybe we'll have to play with that when we get back to the house. Yeah. Anyways, we still got a roof to finish on this. Yeah, I was gonna say. We have this, and uh, let's finish up this building. And then... Continue on. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. We can salvage a few rails from this line to finish out our player. Yeah. I was gonna say I brought two minecarts this time if we want to ride back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look off in the distance. Our tree. Oh, you can see it from here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. Yeah. It's like back in the old days of Minecraft where you always have big, tall, dirt things just to see so find your way back home. <laughs> yeah. Who needs beacons where you got giant trees? Exactly. Alrighty then. So we're gonna want. What kind of floor do we want? Or a stone, I think. Actually, let's save that for the actual factory and not just our workshop. Yeah, okay. I guess for now we can use wood, possibly. Yeah. Alright, let's get this finished off. You got how much of that twilight oak do you have? Uh, 26 planks. <laughs> 26. I don't think that'll be enough. For the floor? Probably not. No. Nah. I can always run back home and grab some. Alright, you do that. I'll get uh, this done. Yeah, and this uh, a couple other things we probably want to grab anyway, so. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Need any help? No, I'm almost done. I just need to. Boom. Two fluid loaders. Or, uh... Did you make? Crap. Ah. ah. I made. I. I mixed. I made two fluid unloaders. I. Dang it. <sighs> hey, we need to turn. We need transfer nodes anyways as well. So I'll yeah. come back and help. Okay. Uh. Okay, two fluid loaders. Sweet. Done. We're also going to need... Oh, levers. This act motors, I should say. Oh yeah. Uh, how many do the, of those do we need? Two routing, two, and two regular level levers. And what about the lapis? Oh wait, no. Shit. 
I used all my lap it all the lapis on my stuff. Is there any in the uh mining chest? Yeah, any, let's uh... let's see. Yes there is. Perfect. Thank god. I love you, miner. <laughs> Just doing his job. He's a good boy. Mm-hmm. So we're going to need to adjust the routing tables in the existing switch. Okay. And... Do you have the levers? Right now. Uh, yeah, uh, I needed black dye. Okay. Yeah, I have the two levers. You want me to give them to you? Uh, no. One of the, they both go on the two Y's. One of them... Oh, yeah, okay. So, I think one at... On the... First three-way. And then the second one on the... Near the end drop-off point, you know? Basically, follow the the route it's gonna take, and see where the Y's default to. Yeah. You just need them switched for now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Need mm -hmm. more. Need more of cactus for oh. one. Means off to the desert. Is there anything else you need? Maybe I can start working on that. Um, do you have any spare quartz? I do not, but I can. Like nether quartz? Yeah. I don't have any, but I can grab some. Alright, because we need two det routing detectors. Same. Should we do the same rules apply as the. Uh, Twilight Forest bosses use vanilla tools. For yeah. It? Okay. For the uh, Wither? Wither and Ender Dragon, first time. Sure, how that's gonna be a challenge. I mean, I've seen people do it in Iron Gear. Yeah. I mean, if you. The Wither, you kinda have to do them, right? You know, you don't want to just spawn them and fight them out in the open, you gotta kind of... Uh, Do it underground. Yeah, so you can hit them. Because in reality, that's what I find the hardest part is that when you fight them, like, out in the open, you can't hit them. Especially after half health, when you become the mute yeah. projectiles. Yeah. Ooh, there's a portal over there. I can get a crimson right. Stacking a bit of nether quartz. Ah! Be excited for one dot sixteen. Yes. Of course I am. I think I'm finally going to actually beat the Ender Dragon because <laughs> I still have yet to do that in Vanilla Minecraft since the 1.10 update. Okay. I keep meaning to, but like, I never get there. <laughs> On my last world, I was close. I was just, um, on my last big world on my old computer, before I lost it. 
Alright. I found the stronghold, the ender portal, right? I was collecting ender pearls and I was getting ready to fight. And then what? Well, by the by I got a new computer before then and I lost the world. Aww. But that was like the thing I was doing. So. I think I may have got a little bit of sidetracked with some other stuff while I was preparing, but like. I remember um, I found it and I was like, oh man, heck yeah. Alright. So. I think that's like one of my goals of when 1.16 when comes out. Beat the Ender Dragon. Mm. And get Elytra. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In vanilla, right? Yeah, in vanilla. Okay. You know, keep going. I almost forgot the re reason we came. I came there in the first place. Cactus. Yeah. There's a gas, and I'm challenging it to a duel. All right. Oh, it's getting close enough for me to just hit it. Oh, man. <laughs> For some reason, I angered an Enderman without even meaning to. <laughs> I think they're starting to catch think, on. Yeah, I think they're just like, ah, uh, you don't even have to look at them. You just, you're in their presence when they're gonna start attacking you. Now there's two baby zombies guarding it. Ah. Oh. Those are the worst. Uh... Okay. I think I'm just gonna shoot this gas with the bow this time. Uh... I just hit uh... him and I fell and almost died again. Grab! You want some help? Nah. I'm about to be back. Alright. Um, you gotta um, prove yourself. I gotta prove myself. <laughs> ah! Good job! Alright, can I have the detectors, please? Thank you. Alrighty. Where did that Enderman go? It's inside. Enderman uh -oh. has in infiltrated our house. Yeah, Got him. One switch up here. That will.
Where'd I put my routing? My routing tables are. I put the routing tables in the chest. Alright. So, whenever you get off at the factory, change the ticket to this. And. Yeah. And then send send it off. All right. All right. It looks like we're out of time for this episode. But off camera, yeah. we should we'll set the station up since you've seen us do that. Mm -hmm. And in the next episode, finish up, do the interior for this, I think. Yeah. Until next time, peace. See ya.